Please subscribe and hit that bell icon for future updates. Well, welcome back to the Northern Ants channel. Uh, I was checking on my test tubes and a lot of them were dried out. So today we are going to put some put them put some queens in some new test tubes. We've got our syringes. We got our cleaned test tubes here, and as you can see, this the test tube, the water reservoir is dried out. So what we want to do is first we want to get the all these different queens set over the side here as you can see these are dry this one it's not looking too bad there's still quite a bit of water at the very end there that'll be the next one I'll have to change but right as of right now it's pretty good so we'll put that one back on the shelf. And we got this one. Yeah, that one's pretty dry. So we're going to want to put that out. That's the tiny queen, as you can see there. She definitely needs some more water. And we got this one, which this one has still got a lot of water. I changed this one probably two weeks ago. So that one's still good. And this one I did about two weeks ago also. As you can see, she's still got a lot of water. Yeah, we've got the... This is a carpenter ant, female. I had a male in there with her. I caught, but they were from the same nest. I don't think they mated. And I think she's losing her wings because she... It hasn't been, I've, I gave her a little honey, but hasn't been fed. And she's not mated yet. Okay. It's pretty handy to have a, night, a, a wire like this, because then you can use that to grab onto the insert. Just want to pull it to the end, just to where you can grab hold of it. Which with the next ones I, I didn't think to I should have got the test tube ready before I pulled out the insert. But nice thing is, is the insert was uh, oh, not that the insert was loose. It was she didn't leave the insert is what it was. She stayed on the insert in the test tube because she's that teeny tiny queen. She doesn't adventure around very often. Yeah, you wanna, I usually use about two syringe fulls of water. And it tends to put just enough water in there for the for the cotton. What you do is take your cotton ball, put it down inside. And then that wire that we use to pull the insert out of the other test tube we're going to use that to pack the cotton ball down into the water and you want to do is push it in just enough to where it soaks up up to the very edge but doesn't flood out the chamber after the cotton ball just want it to be moist on the end so the queen has something for humidity plus for drinking. And then we grab the insert with the queen on it. Insert it into the new test tube. And then we take the other cotton ball with the feeder on it and insert that in. And then I usually keep, uh, as you can see, they've got uh, construction paper, black construction paper. I make a tube and put that over the over the top of it. Now we're just going to speed it up. 
we got a few more here to do. And we'll play some music for you for the remainder of the video. So, hope you enjoyed. And after the done doing the test tubes, I've got a little of uh, some ants uh, up close and some faraway shots and stuff. So stick around after the the test tubes are completed, and we'll get some good video of some of the one of the mini hearse. So thank you for watching, and, and please comment, subscribe. And I will talk to you in the comments.